Scorpion venom is the most expensive liquid on Earth, costing more than $38 million per gallon. It's even more expensive than Thailand's King Cobra venom, which costs around $153,000 a gallon. Scorpion venom contains 5 million unstudied compounds. This is why it's called the cocktail of bioactive compounds. Scorpion venom is useful in various medical applications. Proteins from its toxin showed antimicrobial, antimalarial, and anti-cancer activity. Researchers are also looking into using scorpion venom as a painkiller. A peptide from scorpion venom can suppress immune responses, allowing it to be used in the treatment of autoimmune diseases. Unfortunately, the scorpion produces just 2 milligrams of venom at a time, so it's necessary to make synthetic versions of these venoms. Otherwise, there simply won't be enough to lower the cost, and no one will be able to afford the drugs. Honeybee venom can rapidly kill aggressive breast cancer cells. Scientists found that the venom was extremely effective in reducing tumor growth in animal models. The venom managed to kill cancer cells without harming normal healthy cells. Scientists discovered that bee venom contains a cancer-killing component called melitin. The researchers managed to reproduce the melitin synthetically in the lab and found it had most of the anti-cancer effects. Melitin was able to kill cancer cells within just 60 minutes. This component enters the surface of the cell or the plasma membrane and forms holes or pores, causing the cell to die. Scientists also found that melitin was jamming the main messaging or signaling pathways that allow cancer cells to communicate with each other in order to replicate and grow. When combined with chemotherapy drugs, melitin was found to be more effective at killing tumors. The holes that were created by melitin on the surface of cancer cells allowed chemotherapy drugs to enter the target cells. As a result, it worked very efficiently in reducing tumor growth in mice. Honey never spoils. It can last thousands of years and still be edible. Honey has a very low water content, typically less than 18%. This makes it difficult for bacteria and other microorganisms to grow as they require a certain amount of water to survive. Honey is high in sugar, which also inhibits the growth of microorganisms. The high sugar content creates an environment that is too concentrated for most bacteria and other microorganisms to survive. Honey is naturally acidic, with a pH range of 3.2 to 4.5. This acidity also helps to inhibit the growth of microorganisms. Bees add enzymes to honey as they process it, which help to break down the sugars and create hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide also acts as a natural preservative, inhibiting the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms. It is important to note that honey can eventually spoil if it is exposed to moisture or other contaminants, so it is important to store it properly in a sealed container in a cool, dry place.